had some of these lots that were pretty ugly. So he got the neighborhood kids to work together on a neighborhood garden, and he came to a meeting and explained how that went. He said it actually transformed the neighborhood. I mean, he's a wonderful man. I'll have to look for his phone number. Maybe he could come on and speak on one of these programs. It transformed the neighborhood because the kids now had something to do. They enjoyed doing it. They enjoyed watching the things grow. And when they harvested, you know what they did? They took paper bags of their harvest, and they they know, knew that there were some elderly people who were having difficulty, and they, they started delivering these paper bags of fresh food to these elderly neighbors. And this gentleman said all of a sudden it like broke that that lack of connectivity between the teenagers in the neighborhood which the elderly were always afraid of to you know they all of a sudden realized they could do something for the elderly and the elderly were thrilled with it so it was that is just a wonderful community building idea i thought I want to interrupt you for one minute. I'm looking at the chat room, and we mandate that you guys be respectful. Drake is in there on his own accord to be there for you. That does not mean you can abuse him. That does not mean you can ask him questions that's inappropriate. If he says he can't talk about it, it's for a good reason, and you need to respect that. I don't want you to put him in danger or anybody else because you need to know. If you keep it up, I'm going to boot you. This is a group thing, and we all need to show kindness to one another. Sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> um, it's good that you said that. Uh Anyway. I just am not going to tolerate it. We are all planning to get into the golden age. We all need to get going. There's things that we want to do. People have fantastic ideas. They've been doing stuff in their garage, and now it's time to pull it together and start implementing our better world. And then you always end up with somebody that's on an ego trip or something, and they have to know, and that's just disrespectful. It's disrespectful of Drake's position, and I just, I'm not going to stand for it. Sorry. Um, I think that kindness is what we need to show everybody and show them respect and only give to other people what you want back in return. It's a mere world that we live in, and the sooner people find that out, the sooner we're going to live in a utopia. It's coming our way, and I think people need to be responsible and have their own um, intelligence about them as we go through this process. So anyway, um, what can we do? What would be some ideas that um, I know we have a lot of moms. They're concerned about their kids. They've been homeschooling. It's becoming very difficult. Um, They're dealing with the shots. What can moms do with kids in school? What are some ideas? Well, one one thing I can kind of tell them that I'm trying to do with my grandchildren, schools are not teaching, and, and I know people say, well, I don't want a garden. Well, if you could just maybe set up pots in your yard uh, or on your patio. Children, um, the idea, my neighbor used to do this with his grandchildren. He would bring them in. And they would they were little. I remember watching how much a they loved his time and attention, right? They just children really love our time and attention. They're naturally very curious and they like ideas and projects and that's how they learn. So getting our children right now to help plant I'm doing that with my grandchildren. I'm taking a square, you know, and I'm gonna get the seeds, um, or we'll go buy the little plants. I want their hands in the soil. We're going to kind of teach them how this works. Uh, It's going to be in my yard because their parents don't have the time. But, I mean, what a better way for children to learn than to grow their own little something, even if it's a a patio pot. Moms can all do that, don't you think? Yeah, and um, I know that, and I think this is brilliant because they talk about the uh, crystal children or the indigo children, they're 9, 10, 11, 12 years old. They have an awareness about food, and now they're giving lectures 
to their peers, but also in front of adults. And I think it's a great, brilliant plan to wake adults up and go, wait a minute, if this nine-year-old knows all this, you know, why don't I? Absolutely, and the whole idea, we we started, my husband and I hadn't done much gardening, and when I got into the relocalization thing in 2006, and I was really worried, and um, I said, we need to grow food, you know, because I thought, oh my gosh, we need to grow food. And so we started gardening, and we started um, composting, you know. Now, if I don't put that egg eggshell in that correct place, place i get in in big trouble because he's got his compost thing that he's working out and he comes back and tells me oh my gosh you should see all the worms we've got um and we do everything we can to learn about how to do this organically we don't we no longer use any chemicals on either the any of our yard really we're we're trying to do everything organically and but we're in the learning stage even though i've done it for so many years it's fun to learn though and you know you go to gardening clubs or these people are, seem so grounded. It, it, I can't tell you how how much we've enjoyed getting into this. Uh, the other thing for the, for the people I was, I think I mentioned to this this to you earlier. People who either don't have a garden and not interested in gardening, they just you know it doesn't appeal to them. Well, here here was an idea a woman had in Central Ohio. She decided we had local food growers. Okay. And she she lived on on the edges of town, and she knew who those people were, and then they would get ready to harvest, and she decided to knock on their door and said, "What do you think if when you're ready to harvest, I fax to the locally owned restaurants what you have that's fresh this week?" And she went around and she got like this newsletter put together, so they finally they liked her, they liked the idea, so. They would contact her, I don't know if it likes on Sunday, saying, well, this week we're, we're harvesting this and we have this for sale. And she put this in this little newsletter and faxed it to the local restaurants. So the local restaurants would plan their specialties around this fresh harvest. They loved it. The farmers loved it. There w- there wasn't any middleman other than I think they ended up having to hire someone to, to pick up the, the food and deliver it. But it was a smashing success. And that was just a, little, a, a woman with a good idea and a database. I think that's brilliant because that's thinking out of the box and seeing where there's a niche, a need. And the other thing that I want to point out, too, is that nobody's going to come knock on your door and say, excuse me, can you do this? This is a program that people are going to have to um, find their own niche, see what's needed in their co- in their communities, and then contribute accordingly. Correct? Yeah, and th- that's absolutely correct. And and it, a lot of people on a lot of these calls are excellent researchers. You know, you kind of have to be to figure out what's going on because the the system doesn't really give you good information, and gosh knows the media doesn't. So you have to kind of figure out, well, how do I get good information? Well, that makes you a researcher, right? I don't care how you cut it. You're a researcher. When you put up a wiki site, which I, we haven't talked about, but that's what I'm recommending, a wiki site is pretty simple to use, and even school schools are using it for their projects. So it's interactive. You can have members. You can set the whole thing up so that people can contribute you can set up a team and say, you know, we live in such and such county. Um, who wants to work on the, on the local food team, you know, or or who wants to work on local currencies or local advancing local businesses by local first team? Who this way you have a a place, a presence by having the wiki site. You can add information as it comes in, and anybody who who hears about your site, and I'll tell you how to help spread the word, can be invited. It's not a club. It's not an organization. It's a sharing of information. So if I have a, a group, and I do, I have a group who's trying to promote a local currency thing, I can put a link up on my site to help advance that, right? 
the local farmer market. Have, have We also have community-supported agriculture. I can put that up to let people know this is where that's at. So you're, you're kind of doing a, how shall I put it, it's kind of like a directory of your community, of, uh, of how things are running, where things are at, and you put up things not like Walmart sales. You put up things that help support the kind of world we're trying to build. Okay, so we got the schools, and people need to think out of the box and figure out how else they can help. Um, I would really like to see moms get into the lunch rooms because those sugar-induced uh, menus are not conducive to brain food, and we really need to get some sustenance back, and it makes sense to have an organic garden growing right there on the school. It wouldn't cost them very much at all. Turn it into a school project, and you could have it in the lunchrooms, and the kids could go, wow, I made this, you know. Um, well, can so I say something? By the, moms yeah, doing right that, by the moms doing that, you know, I love what you're saying because – Everything that I have found, I did. I, I could have a good idea, and then I'd research it. No time is wasted by the moms going to the schools and having this conversation that is not a waste of time because if they get a, a, a negative response, now they're learning more about how their 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 system works. Now, a negative response isn't necessarily bad because now you go back to the wiki site and you've got, well, we went to the schools and they they weren't interested. Does anybody have any ideas how we can deal with this? Now you're moving from a good idea to an obstacle to a brainstorming. Do you see how that works? So no time was wasted in any of the process because what you did, you took the good idea and you got the information you need to decide how to go forward. And the wiki page allows you to share that, so it opens it up to good ideas coming in. How do we deal with this? Anybody have an idea? Bingo. Now you've got a project that you can pursue solutions for. So I, I like that idea. It, it's all about creativity, you know, don't you think? It's all about thinking outside of the box. Let me see what's going on in my backyard. What what can what needs fix? What can I help? And how can I get other people aware that we got these things and we'd we'd like to fix them? Well, go to the wiki site and you'll see what our research has done. And then you bring in your own. Well, um, let's go. Okay, so we've got the gardening down. And the other thing that I think is brilliant is that each community can start their program and start to develop and then they have a website like right. yours that I just put in the chat room um, and we can actually learn from other communities oh my god look at this idea you know look what they're doing this is a cool idea so it doesn't have to just stop with the basics we can actually I mean who knows we could incorporate bake sales or something to raise money to put in a garden somewhere in somebody's backyard or you know whatever. Oh, absolutely. That's why that's why this is so great because it's like a blank easel. Once you start this wiki site, you've got a blank easel, right? Nothing on it. It says welcome to wiki. You're, you can get started now and you're like, "Okay, you know, all I have is a name so far." Uh, <laughs> you know, so people get overwhelmed, and, and I'm like, people, I think you're overwhelmed because you've got so many amazing options that you can do with this thing. You can have newsletters. You can share. You can make a network. The network that I was involved in, I'll, maybe I should tell people how well that worked before. Personally, I think they ran out of money because it was so successful, if you want my opinion. And they, the primary name of it was Relocalization Network. Well, it worked wonderful because they had one major site. We don't have that. They had a master site. And each each group who woke up to what was going on would kind of fill out a little bit of information and they'd give you access to a page that was your page, kind of a, more than a page, um, as much as the wiki it, it gave you. Now, then they had a... a a kind of a, a big map of the country. 
this could come somewhere down the road. People could do it in 